Hello YouTube fans, this is Nascar Clown. If you're new here, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up too. Um, I want to talk about WWE fans. Now, there are some WWE fans that are awesome. And <laughs> and I met some of them. We're, they're awesome too. So, But there's also wrestling fans that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. If you're a, a fan of a wrestler, congrats. You're a fan of it. But if you're going to shit someone just because they're a fan of something, like, for example, the Lex Man is a fan of Daniel Bryan. People give him shit just because he's a fan of it. And people said, oh, Daniel Bryan already won WrestleMania. Why he should win again? Last year, people wanted Daniel Bryan to win. People shit on Batista. We were screaming on top of our fucking goddamn lungs. But Daniel Bryan will win. It didn't happen. Obviously, Batista won last year. But now, all of a sudden, you don't want Daniel Bryan to win? Why? Oh, because he's been pushed already. He already won in the main event. Newsflash, you fucking dumbasses. Yeah, dumbasses. You have a problem with it? Then get the fuck out of this fucking video. <laughs> Newsflash. You didn't notice John Cena almost being almost in a fucking main event? Oh, 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 were you just blind to just see that? 23, 22, even 21. Okay, let's, let's count how many times John Cena has been in the main event to literally close the show. Yes, WrestleMania 21 doesn't really count, but it's a SmackDown main event. So, you know what? That fucking counts, okay? WrestleMania 21. WrestleMania 22. WrestleMania fucking 23. Not 20, well, not 24, not 25, but 26, 27, even though he didn't win, fuck that, fuck that people view, fuck it to damn hell, except for that, except for a few matches there that were actually really good, the rest was just god awful, 28, Cena, 29, Cena, you, you see the pattern here, even if John Cena does not win, he's still in the fucking main event, why? Because he draws money and a lot of people like him. So, are you saying that just because Daniel Bryan gets one big main event victory, does does that mean he's done? You don't want him to be pushed anymore? Look at Austin. Look at Shawn Michaels. Brett. Hulk Hogan. And yet, no one doesn't bitch about that, right? You know, it, it, wrestling fans do really piss me off because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They say they do, they don't. They really don't. There's some, there are some wrestling fans that do know what they're talking about. Because those wrestling fans are not naive and stupid and dumb like the rest of the wrestling fans are. For crying out loud. Shit. If you're a fan of a, of a WWE superstar, go ahead. If you're a fan of Bella, good. Fan of Fandango, good. But are you really going to criticize someone just because of it? All I have to say is fuck you for that. Really. Fuck you. This year, I actually want Daniel Bryan to win. The Royal Gumball. If he doesn't win, I'll be pretty upset. Uh, I won't rage or anything. I mean, it depends how... The Warrior Rumble is because, well, anything can happen at the Warrior Rumble. Um, but it's just fucking mind boggling knowing that fans are willing to support people, and then once they go to the top, it's like, yep, we're done. Are you fucking retarded? Are you that fucking dumb? You are. You are that fucking dumb. You don't even a fucking result to be a fucking wrestling fan, you fucking asshole. It's fucking goddamn true. You don't fucking deserve to be a wrestling fan. In my eyes, you don't. Because you talk so much shit 
and you talk so much shit to other wrestling fans that are fans of other superstars, and they don't talk shit about your favorite superstar, but you talk shit about their favorite superstar, go fuck yourself. It is just the generation of these wrestling fans are that naive. They're really obsessed. They're so fucking goddamn obsessed with the Attitude Era or something. And the <laughs> and the ruthless, the ruthless Aggression Era. So obsessed with it. They're so obsessed with it that they can't fucking move on. That's another guy that I fucking have. Move the fuck on. It's over. Yes, it was nice. It's over, though. Move the fuck on. That's another thing with WWE, but that's another discussion for another day. If you are a wrestling fan, if, okay, obviously I'm a fan of Dan Bryan, Paige, and Brock Lesnar, even though I'm not that much of a fan, but I still like Brock, and Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, and what, once they get the main event shots, that's it, you know? With Bray, once Bray Wyatt wins the world championship, whatever, oh, you're just going to forget about him like that? Oh, he won. All right, move on. Next. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? It's fucking bullshit. All right? It's really, really bullshit. Oh my god, these fucking retarded wrestling fans are so fucking stupid. This is why, this is why I can't talk to some wrestling fans, because they are so naive and so stupid that I just want to punch them in the fucking face just because of it. So, that's my thoughts <laughs> about... You know, WWE fans criticizing other fans for no fucking reason. So if you're a fan of a WWE superstar, be a fan of it. If someone criticizes you just because of it, go like this in front of them. Say, fuck you, it's my opinion, not yours. You have a problem with it? There's the door. It's fucking right there. Take it. And make sure it doesn't hit you on the fucking way out. Fucking de degenerate assholes.